Well, it's that time of year again. We have the releases of the five Ubuntu families. So if uh, Ubuntu is uh, Fat Clemenza, I would say that Lubuntu is Skinny Fredo Corleone. So we have Lubuntu. This one is endorsed by the Godfather, or at least the Godfather's son. Ha ha. All right. So I dual boot this on two SSDs with Ubuntu on a computer from 2013. So if you have an older PC... Uh, Lubuntu might be a good choice for you. So I had to wait to record this because uh, after I had my surgery, my 50-inch TV uh, crapped out on me. No respect whatsoever to Davies TVs. If you've uh, tried Lubuntu before, you've seen these shortcuts before. So I'll just go through this as quickly as I can. The file manager, I believe this is PC Man, or that I think they nicknamed this PC Pac-Man, I believe, in the past. I did install OBS Studio, seems to be functioning properly here. The usual shortcut show desktop discover is the software center for Lubuntu as I drink some coffee here. All right, we'll let this load here. There was an issue with the process, installation process. Oh no, a bug already? Uh, repository should have a clear sign release file, but none found at PPA low. Uh, oh, OBS Studio. Yeah, anytime you install something that's brand new, the respective repositories need to be updated. Ubuntu, uh, OBS rather, Studio is not updated yet in the repository, but that's okay. I think we can still record this, I hope. Are you going to freeze up on me? I'm telling you, these systems have no respect. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in a bad mood with my TV breaking. Uh, all right, okay, so this is, uh, what what is this? This is the software manager, duh. All right, so I have flat packs enabled by default. Can do snaps if you want to. There are no updates right now, but I'm sure that'll change. All right, so I did install Brave, probably with all the controversy with Firefox. You may want to try Brave. Uh, I'm, I'm not that picky at all because I don't believe privacy exists on the web the way we define privacy. OBS Studio, I installed something called Lollipop Music Player. Didn't really need it, but just for fun. All right, so we looked at the file manager. We have shortcuts here on the desktop. You can right click. For example, open the terminal. I do like mouse uh, functions quite a bit in Linux-based systems. Let's exit out of this. I took a couple screenshots I want to show you. Yeah, let's go to screenshot number one from a few nights ago. So I did an in-place upgrade. Uh, the, the safest way to install Linux is to do a full install, erase everything after you backed up. But I decided to take a chance to do an in-place upgrade using some terminal commands. You, you normally don't have to do this, by the way. So this said it would take uh, approximately, well, it says here I would need over two gigs of a download to do the upgrade. Uh, the download will take about three minutes based on my internet connection, which is pretty good. And installing the upgrade can take several hours. It did not take several hours. Because let's face it, if it takes hours to install Linux, you might as well just install Windows 11. However, even with this outdated PC, uh, this took about approximately 45 minutes. If you look at the clock here, I started at 9.42. And if we go to the next uh, screenshot here, by 10.20, it was cleaning up the system, getting ready to restart. So it was altogether, I would say, less than an hour. And I bet if you had a newer computer, like with a Ryzen 7 or above, you could probably cut this time in half and one of these days i will buy a new computer if my tv stopped breaking all right let's go to the software uh here i call it the lubuntu start button here to the top left i'll go to these quickly accessories uh first fun i installed the uh, c matrix based on the matrix just for fun let's get out of that go back here to accessories uh, GTK hash I installed. Rico is an audio recording application. When I record uh, some of the podcasts for uploads on the Patreon page. All right. Well, let's go back again to accessories. And I installed Stacer, Linux system optimizer and monitoring. This is similar to, I would say, Bleach Bit. So, of course, the CPU is almost at 100% running OBS Studio. 
And again, this is a not dated PC with an AMD A650 200 APU with Radeon graphics. So overall, I think it's held up over the course of 12 years. All right, we were at accessories, education and science, calculate games, not much there. Graphics, not much there. Internet, I also installed, uh, I did install Opera just to take a look at it. It's okay. I mean, honestly, any modern web browser is going to work. And this was me on Amazon looking at TVs, I do believe, the other night. And uh, I did buy one, by the way, but I'll tell you that at a later time. Anyway, let's get out of that again. So let's go back to, let's go to Office, of course, the LibreOffice Suite, Sound and Video. Audacious is a fantastic lightweight music player. Uh, easy effects I installed. Kazam screen record. I don't think this has been updated in years. Rico rhythm box and VLC I installed. This should be the default music player for both Linux and Windows because it just works. System tools. I did install Bleach, but just to see if it works, and it does. Let's take a look at HTOP. And. Uh, yeah, we're using uh, 1.13 gigs of RAM, which isn't bad for a lightweight system. If this was Ubuntu, it would be well, almost double that probably. But overall, it's running okay. All right, exit out of this. All right, anything else here, system tools? Nah. References, you can do a lot of customizations with Ubuntu. Go to LXQT settings, a lot going on here. If we go to appearance, you have lots of choices here. The QT style breeze, left it there. Icons theme, lots going on here. LXQT theme. Again, because this is lightweight, it's not stripped down. So although Lubuntu is not really made to look, you know, jazzy, lots of flashy style and colors, you can customize it that way if you want to. But it wasn't made for that. It was made for speed for older systems. Okay, I did install the Synaptic Package Manager. Normally, when you're new to this, you would not use something like this. I don't think it's designed for newbies. I would just go to the software center. And yes, you'd have to plug in your password to get to it. I'm not going to do it now. All right, we were at preferences about LXQT. Okay, so this is uh, 2010 through 2025. A big thank you to the LXQT team for doing a good job with this. Overall, I would say very nice. All right, we have leave, lock screen, and a search bar here at the bottom to search for your application. So what else can I say about this? It's It works. It's designed the way it was meant to be. Lightweight fast, not necessarily flashy, it just works. And overall, I've been happy using Lubuntu. Dual booting this with Fat Clemenza, I, I mean Ubuntu. So Lubuntu is Ubuntu on a diet. So if you have Windows 10, which expires this year, and you don't want to use Windows 11 or, or don't need Windows 11, then take a look at Lubuntu. Great for older systems.